Hi there, my name is Deepa. I'm the organizer for GDG San Jose chapter, and I'm also an ambassador at Women Tech Makers. Today, let's see how to automate your Lighthouse reports using Puppeteer API. Lighthouse, as you know, is an extension available in Chrome. It is an automated tool for improving the performance, quality, and the correctness of your web application. Basically, Lighthouse runs an audit on your web application, and it gives certain metrics such as search engine optimization, accessibility, performance, and best practices. So, now what is Puppeteer? Puppeteer is a headless automation tool and an API available for Chrome and Chromium-based web browsers. What can Puppeteer do for you? Most of the things you do manually in a browser can be automated using Puppeteer. You could do form submissions, UI interactions, keyboard inputs, and many more. And you could also test extensions such as Lighthouse using Puppeteer API. Now let's see how to do that in this video. Here we are at developers.google.com. There are different tools available for web developers, and amongst them are Lighthouse and Puppeteer listed here. So there are five steps that you could, you could follow to generate Lighthouse reports using Puppeteer. First, you need to install Lighthouse and Puppeteer packages. Two, you need to set up your project folders. If you would like to, you can use service workers such as Workbox. You need to configure Lighthouse. Four, you need to launch browser instance using Puppeteer. And finally, you could generate reports using either HTML format or JSON format. So here's a code snippet. And on the left, if you see the project structure, I have configuration with service workers. And the reports folder contains uh, an HTML and a JSON format of the same URL. And a util file contains two functions. One has one creates a browser instance, and two, the second function creates Lighthouse reports and along with the output that we want to have it. And inside of generate report, I'm using those two functions that I've used it in the util file. And I'm also mentioning the URL here as developers.google.com. I've gone ahead and generated these, these reports already. So if you see, there's a JSON format and the HTML format looks like this. Note, the performance of the application would vary depending on the traffic that you may have in your website. It also gives you accessibility score, best practices, etc. So it also takes screenshots. And there are some code snippets available inside of uh, um, Lighthouse GitHub uh, repo and also you could look into puppeteer examples too which has a lighthouse and puppeteer um, example here so we saw how puppeteer api could be used to generate those lighthouse reports puppeteer could do even more you could use puppeteer along with other testing frameworks such as jest or mocha to have a full-fledged testing framework. Repetitive tasks can be identified and tested early on using Puppeteer. You can avoid production bugs by this way early on. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and happy coding.